There is a hotel here that's a five star, it's got an indoor pool, it's got a spa. You know what's happening now, don't you? sleep. The time is 5.53. Far too early. Oof. I need to have a sleep somewhere today. I need to have a nap. I'm gonna leave you now. I'm eating Tober at King's Cross at 10am, which is like pff, four hours away. But I'm gonna walk in that direction, see if I can grab breakfast in a hotel on the way. Right, let's make a move. <laughs> Glad I could grab a hot drink on the way out. Honestly, it's a bit chilly this morning. I'm starting to feel the hunger now. I need to get some breakfast before I meet Tol, but that'll set me right up for the day. Let's see what we can find. Morning. Morning, how are you? You okay? I'm good. Right, okay. Bye. Bye. Breakfast tastes so good and it set me up for the day now. At least I don't have to worry about food. Tolba's literally just called me. He's got stuff planned this morning, so unfortunately I'm not gonna be meeting him now. So the plan's changed a bit. He said he's gonna text me, maybe catch up this afternoon, but worst case scenario, we'll be doing 10 o'clock tomorrow morning again at King's Cross Station. But why can't he meet this morning? Tolba, what have you got planned, mate? I don't even know if I'm going right or left at the end of the street. In fact, I'm gonna take a left and I'm gonna head back down towards the river. My priorities today really is that I really want to get a nap in. Obviously I'm volunteering tonight, so I just don't want to be ruined and really tired for that. So basically I just want to find somewhere where I could just put my head down for a bit. Somewhere I can sort of chill, maybe have a shower. Before I try and find somewhere though, there's a five star hotel approaching on the left here now there. I want to see if they do like the little travel toothpaste and toothbrushes, you know, that you get like in the bathroom with like the shower caps and stuff. I don't know, they might not do them, but I'm going to double check anyway. Jesus, this is posh. Look at the state of this place. I'm just going to walk upstairs and see if I can see anybody. Wow, some hotel this. Excuse me, did you work here? Have you got a um, oh, toothbrush? Okay. Mm -hmm. You have one? Perfect, thank you. Ah, that's great, thank you. Is there toothpaste in there as well? As well, thank you very much, thank you. Happy days. I have got my dental kit now. My teeth are gonna be nice and clean. Right, now let's go and find somewhere to take a nap. Right, I have just got to the Covent Garden area. There is a hotel here that's a five star. It's got an indoor pool, it's got a spa. You know what's happening now, don't you? I'm gonna sneak into the spa. I'm gonna try and have a spa day. I'm gonna chill out. I'm gonna have a nap in the spa. Let's see how we get on. If I can pull this off, I will be so happy. Sorry to be a pain. Um, can you advise me where the spa is at all, and like the pool and things? The pool, yeah, on yeah. the lower ground, just one level down. Yeah, thank you very much for your help. You don't have a key, do you? Because um, you need to have a key to enter. Ah, okay, brilliant. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. Hi, how are you? Hi, I'm good, how are you? Just come from the hotel. Just want to sort of chill by the pool and relax a bit, to be honest. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, just grab a towel, yeah. That's great. Thank you very much. Cheers. That went pretty easy. I think it's like actually a gym. Tell you what, this is better than I imagined. Literally, you've got the pool there, the lounge is there, and when you get up and come around here, you've got the steam room there, which I'm definitely gonna be using, and then over here, 
you've got the sauna, which I'll also be using. But now I'm gonna get some sleep, still stuff without breakfast, but I'm so tired, I'm gonna get a couple of hours. I might have a swim, actually, go for a dip in me boxes. Thank God I brought another pair of boxes. Anyway, I'm gonna get some sleep. Right, so I've just come out of the gym. That was a good spa day. I am like proper chilled now. Didn't get as much sleep as I'd like, but nevertheless, I'm grateful. So I've just come into the lobby of the hotel to do some work. And the lady come over to me and asked me, did I want anything to drink or eat? I've got tap water, I've got my complimentary apple there. And the lady said they do complimentary olives. I love olives, so I'm looking forward to this. Ah, cheers. Thank you very much for that. Just double checking, that is complimentary, isn't it? It is. Yeah, that is. It's free. Perfect. Thank you very much. So here, not only do we have some olives, we have some twizzly pretzly bits. Right, I'm just going to finish this work, and as soon as I finish this work, we'll get moving. Right, we're out the hotel, work's done. It's been a nice, chill day. I definitely needed that, but I just find it bizarre how I like got a couple of hours sleep, but now I feel worse after having to sleep than not. Like, how the hell does that even happen? Anyway, I'm on my way now to meet Wahid. He's gonna be there with like the loaves of bread and the teas and coffee for the homeless people. Obviously, I said I was gonna help out and volunteer, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm really looking forward to it, to be honest. I just wish I could do a bit more than just help out, like if I could give something, but obviously I haven't even got anything on me. Wahid has literally just messaged me saying he's 30 minutes away now, and I'm like 10 minutes away, so I'm in good time. Right, I've just had a brainwave. He's 20 minutes away, I'm here, so let's make the most of this 20 minutes. Minutes. I wonder if you could help. There's a homeless meet over there at yeah. 8.30. Just wondering if you've got anything going out of date at all that I could take with me. No, like we are like labeling it, are give you? it to the charity, they give it to them. And they give yeah, it to them. Yeah. No problem, I thought I'd check anyway. Yeah. Have a nice evening, thank you. There's a homeless meet at 8.30 over there. Just wondering if you've got anything that you're throwing out so I could take with me to it at all. We are not closed yet. We close like three hours. That's fine, I just thought I'd check anyway. Sure. Thanks very much, have a nice evening. Just a quick one. There's a homeless meet at 8.30 tonight. I'm just wondering if you've got any food that's going out that I could take with me at all. Mate, I, honestly, anything I'd appreciate it like. Oh, mate, that is, that is amazing. Thank you, mate. Cheers, mate. Thanks very much. This is absolutely crazy. So that shop I just went into, the guy said to me, please, if I was filming, not to put the location or shop, just because he could get in trouble with the amount of stuff he's given me. We've literally got like four chibatas in there. We've got like one panini, two panini, three panini, four, five, six, seven, eight. And there's more in the bottom of there. I reckon all in all, no joke, there's about 12 panini and wraps in there. What a legend. Right, so I've just got here now. There's quite a few people here. Wahid's van was parked there the other day, so I'm just gonna wait for him to come. Also, today, there's actually another van here as well. It's the Seek Welfare and Awareness serving the community, and they've got like soups and drinks and stuff. I think this is Wahid now. I managed to get these as well. Brilliant. Honestly, there's about 10, 15 paninis and wraps and stuff there. <laughs> They're gonna eat well tonight. <laughs> I'll cook this this afternoon. Did you? So the local butcher, <laughs> the local butcher will give me one kilo if I buy two. Fair so I bought play. three kilos yeah. of beef, five kilos of passata, and made my own chili. No way! Yeah, my own hands. They love it because yeah. it's homemade. It yeah. It gives them a homeliness. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. The guy didn't want to see where I got it. Okay. Like, Whoever he is, bless him. Yeah. I know, mate. He, he was a lovely about, guy. He's he said he wants to do it. 40 quid's worth of food there. And 40 quid's worth? Yeah, easy. You cut this yourself? Well, I cooked this today myself. Fair dues, yes, mate. Please. How many have you done? 58. 58? Yeah, in my kitchen. I left a mess. My <laughs> wife was cursing. Every credit, mate.
This is absolutely crazy. So let me show you like what is actually here. We've got the SWAT team, which is the Seek Welfare and Awareness team. You've got like Inspire GB, which is Wahid. And here, there's another independent guy. And then it's all just like sandwiches, pastas, just from shops. Honestly, if anybody knows anybody who's struggling or homeless in London, tell them to come to Agar Street, WC2. Every Monday, Wednesday and Friday at 8.30. Honestly, more people need to know about this. So most of the food's here gone. This is Nigel, by the way. Hey. We've run out of water, so we're taking the urn over to Pizza Hut. They're gonna let us plug it in. We got through so much hot water to have a drink. Right? You okay with that? Yeah, let's go. Right, the urn is now full. They just filled it up with hot water instead of plugging it in. Are you alright with that, mate? Yeah, yeah. If you approach people and you're decent and explain it, people yeah. will really mate, help. I went into a shop, I got about 12 paninis. Yeah, I know. Yeah. You know, mate, he emptied the fridge for yeah. me. Well, you know, he's risked yeah. his job there. There is a lot of compassion with people in general. Whoa, 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 whoa. you alright? Yeah, yeah. Running across the road with an urn. <laughs> really mate, good to see you, mate. Yeah, likewise. Appreciate all your help. Good luck with tomorrow and the day. When are you next year? Friday night. Mate, I'll come Friday night. Brilliant. Have a good one, mate. I'll see you on Friday. Yes, mate, you take care. See you later, mate. Cheers. Nigel, nice to yeah, meet you, mate. Nice and are you, you here on Friday at all? Um, if not, it's mate, it's a pleasure to meet you and we'll yeah, catch up same. again. But oh, yeah, if you're nice here Friday, definitely. mate, I'll see you Friday. Yeah. Frederick, <laughs> pleasure happens. to meet you, mate. Well, delightful to be part of your digital aesthetic world. Lovely to meet Bye. you. I'll see you later. Thank you. Bye. What an amazing bunch of people helping people. And you could do me a massive favour and go over to their Facebook page and show them some love. I'll put a link to their page in the description. So tonight I have gained a t-shirt. On top of that, there was some food left over, so I ate as well. All I've got to do now is find somewhere to sleep, and it is actually getting on a bit. The time now is 10.35 p.m., and I haven't got a clue where I'm staying. I've not Googled anywhere, I've not seen anywhere. Literally, your guess is as good as mine. Before I try and find somewhere, though, I've got to tell you a story about Frederick, the guy in the Illuminous jacket. When we were making teas and coffees, we ran out of sugar, and Wahid went to Frederick and said, if I give you a pound, can you pop to the shop? and get me some sugar. Frederick turns to him and says, Wahid, keep that pound for your organization. You're helping so many people. I'll go to the shop and get the sugar out of my own money. Frederick goes there to get food for himself and then he goes and buys sugar for everyone else. Just goes to show the type of people out there. The guy is struggling himself and he's just gone out and bought sugar for other homeless people. Frederick, if you're watching me, you are the man. Right, it is now time to find a hotel. I'm not crossing the bridge, I'm gonna go back this way. Right, let's see what hotel I can find tonight. It can't be any worse than last night. I didn't sleep a wink. Right, this is the first hotel I've come across. Let's try this one. I haven't got a clue where I'm going here. Right, so to give you an update, I've decided to stay in the lobby of this hotel. I'm just doing some work. The reception guys and security's over there. It's clean as clean over there. And that bar's just closed. Time is currently 1.41 a.m. I am really tired and I could definitely do with some sleep. So my plan is to get a few hours on this couch. And there's no doubt in my mind that I think the security will wake me up, but as long as I can get a few hours, I'll be happy with that. I just want to thank you again for all the comments, support, messages, everything. Honestly, you mean so much. Drop a like and a comment on this video. And if you've not subscribed, subscribe. And I'm looking forward to another good day tomorrow. I'll see you soon.